Take set for race number 11 from Red Shores in Charlottetown. Tonight is the horses swing in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It is the Premier's Pace up to Vance Cameron for the race call. A rockin' Indy. Mick Dundee, Pillage and Burn. No great mischief, mystery fill. Intended royalty. Top of the stretch. It's the Premier's Pace to 11. Post time. Rough and pacing intended royalty firing out. Mick Dundee between horses. Rockin' Indy on the rail, stacking them up. And they're three wide around the turn. Fourth out the rail, pillage and burn. Then racing from fifth. No great mischief. And the trailer is Mystery Phil. So it's Rockin' Indy insisting on the early lead. It's going to be short-lived. Here comes intended royalty, but he's parked. Over to the opening quarter. Intended royalty now clears for Redmond Doucette. He had to pay a price, and the price was... Boom! Just like that! 27 Four! Intended royalty now the leader. Rock and Indy at the rail, second Mick Dundee. He looks after third, pillage and burn, out of the turn fourth. Racing from fifth. On the cones is no great mischief. Mystery Phil leaves the trailer. Halfway home, led by Intended Royalty. Second is Rock and Indy. That's Mick Dundee. Third one to the turn. Fourth at the rail, pillage and burn. No great mischief. Fifth. Mystery Phil has tipped out six. Fifty-seven. And one was the half. Three-eighths left to go. Intended Royalty out in front. They're going to three quarters. Rock and Indy along the rail. Second. Third is Mick Dundee. Pillage and Burn is coming fourth. Then in fifth, it's no great mischief. From the outside, Mystery Phil. Three quarters in the books. And intended royalty. He is still there in 127 and 1. That's a good rating here by Doucette. They're down to an eighth to go. And intended royalty turning for home. Pillage and Burn on the outside. Rock and Indy along the rail. Mick Dundee third. Deep stretch now. Here's Rock and Indy. At the rail wins. Might have been pillage and burn and then intended royalty. Time for the mile. They went 1, 55, and 1. What kind of year? Uh, here's the replay for race number 11. It is the premier space. We'll see the trackside presentation in just a moment. We thought intended royalty might spring the gate here tonight. He paid a price, though, 27 and 4. He cut it, but Rockin' Indy sat in the pocket spot the whole way and was able to get down the passing lane late. Yeah, you can uh, remember that intended royalty comes off that, uh, as a nine year old, his best mile ever 154 and 2, 27 4 to establish command, then a 29 2 and a 30 second third quarter. But he can't hang on. This is some serious sprinting here. And a perfect drive by Corey McPherson from the inside. After going wire to wire last out in that confidence building effort in 154 and 4, he comes right back tonight in 155 and 1 for his fourth win of the season. The seven year old by Rock and Image with its 29th career win. Corey McPherson doubles up for trainer Troy Murray. Rock and Indy at 8 to 5 over Pillage and Burn at 12 to 1.
Rock and Indy arriving at the 11th race, winner's circle. Bay Pacing Gelding, he's seven by Rock and Image. From the DreamWorks Jam, J and B and me, owned and trained by Troy Murray of Clyde River. Corey McPherson will pick up his second win on the night for the double, and the horse stops the clock in one, 55 and one. Rockin' Indy in the 11th, down at trackside, it's the Premier's Pace. The Right Honorable Dennis King joining us tonight for Gold Cup and South United trackside for the cooler presentation. Rockin' Indy to double up McPherson, the mile 155 and one.